Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas for gazing. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in that Yo, what's up, man? We back. We about to uh, get into some yoga. We out here in the middle of Puerto Rico. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me turn it around. The ocean is behind us. The ocean is behind us. That's where you'll find us. So much sun that it might blind us. Or you might need some blinders. Oh, it's in my pocket. I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna do a set up a time lapse. Yeah, do your shit. All right, so yeah, we out here, man. Like I said, we about to get into some yoga. We out here. I'm grounded, feeding the thing. Geyser, geyser. Nah, let me stop playing. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Like I said, I wasn't gonna vlog too much. But hey, I definitely, uh, like I said, I just got into some yoga. I did it for the first time a few, few weeks ago. My homie's a yoga instructor. He got his own classes and all that shit. So he real big in that. We about to do some yoga out here, man. Feet in the ground, head to the sky. And thankful for everything, man. Shout out to Puerto Rico, you feel me? You see the flag? You see the flag, man. Feet in the grass. Ocean. Ocean behind us, man.
heartbeat, know your heartbeat, breathe your heartbeat, and beat your heartbeat. Raise your thumbs to your lips. Symbolically, we notate right here that we have power with our words, so we must take responsibility for what we choose to speak and how we choose to use our words. First to ourselves and then to everyone around us. Raise your thumbs to your eyes. Again, symbolically notating that right here, right now, we make a conscious decision to see what we want to see and then perceive it the way we want to see it. We create our own reality with our perception. Remember when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. First, starting with what you see in yourself and then what you see in everything and everyone else. Last stop on our journey together, bring your thumbs to your third eye center, the little space in between your eyebrows on your forehead. In yoga, we call it your seat of intuition. A neurologist would call this your cerebral cortex, the third layer of your brain. When we get past the first two layers, which represent distraction, noise, and things that are taking away from our true being, we can settle into who we are. May you forever and always know how radiantly beautiful you are and capable from the soles of your feet to the crown of your head. From my heart to yours, I love you, I see you, and I believe in you. The light, the love, the teacher in me honors, loves, and respects the light, the love, the teacher in you. We bow our heads forward to the ground to simply seal our practice and we say namaste. namaste. So, there, in. You pushed it through the bot, the back? <laughs> yeah, all the way up. Hold on, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you gotta like, you do gotta squeeze. It's hard, cause it's, it does not hit people like, ah, oh, but you gotta like, squeeze your knees awkwardly. And make, see how they went to it through an angle? I said I wasn't gonna do too much filming, but we did um, some yoga out here. Super phenomenal, great work. That was my second time actually doing yoga. Like I said, my dude is actually a yoga instructor, got his own buildings and shit like that up there in the Jersey Philly area. So yeah, ain't nothing better, man. Getting your body in order, you already know health is wealth, man. Out here in beautiful Puerto Rico, you see it behind me, you see the ocean, we about to go enjoy the ocean, the vibes. Good vibes only, man. Self-love and positivity. I love my fucking squad and you know that shit. You know that shit.